beautiful youtubers i hope you're having a beautiful saturday we're getting near the end of october here and here in vermont we've had like pouring rain all day and it's like one of my favorite <laughs> type of days right the rain um so i went to the thrift shop and i got a few things i want to share with you first i got this blouse and um i'm gonna tell you the story i said it over on tiktok but i'm gonna say it again this is a coral pink and uh, the lady was saying, oh, I'm not sure if it's gonna fit you. And I said to her, it doesn't matter because I'm gonna get it anyway. The reason is anything to do with coral, right? Coral pink, orange, coral purple, coral red. These are colors that are difficult to find and limited. You're not, I bet you any money, you won't find the same hue six months after you buy whatever you're buying. And uh, so I always grab it. At, it ends up that this blouse is an ample fit anyway and fits over. <laughs> so, so I'm so happy because it's like my favorite color. But um, now with that said, um, at the thrift shop, I also got some beautiful fabrics. And some of these fabrics have tags on them still where they were in Joanne Fabrics. Um, for sale bin or remnant bin and but it's way back it's like 2015 we're going into 2024 so this is almost nine years old however if there's no odor to the fabrics and the integrity is there and the brightness of the colors and it doesn't look like they were left in a in um a god for sale. <laughs> it's like the seller I mean, snap them up, really. And you're doing everyone a favor, including the earth, especially the earth. Because look at these. The, this is a beautiful um, deep blue. And, you know, lime green, I'm going to tell you, is always in. These actually are classic. These are classic. These are always in. So um, I wanted to share that with you. And, um, you know, always check out your local thrift shop. So I wanted to share with you a really super simple design, but it's a Boro piece. It's going to be a Boro piece, and um, but it has a little Western effect in it, you might say. So um, I'm gonna put the camera down so you can see. This is a coin bag that I'm working on. And uh, what I did was this fabric I was just showing you, I just took a big piece of it, right? And I laid it on to the denim. Now the piece that I am wanting to be my flap, I turned towards me because that way I can test it easily. Just putting this uh, up and then folding it and seeing what it looks like. Now in this particular piece with this fabric, the denim really makes this piece pop or this piece makes the denim pop so I'm not going to uh, do your traditional um, boro building using squares and row after row after row I am using one large piece and with that said when you create boro you can use one large piece you can use two pieces you can stack you can um, do free sashiko stitching uh, in one one part of the piece and in another part of the piece for example maybe on this flap I might go with this heart I might put this heart on I'm going to cut out another heart and we're going to see how that looks on here but this heart maybe I um, just go horizontally back and forth through sashiko stitching and then on the flap I go up and down vertically or I do crosses or I do French knots or whatever it is but you can switch and mix and match and just make it as um, interesting and intricate and make it your own and uh, so we're going to cut out another heart because I just want to show you 
the reason I love this heart is not just because of uh, the color and whatnot, but because its stems and its leaves that flowers, as such as on this print, uh, sit on, right? They sit on leaves, they sit on their stems, that's their life source, right? So um, I thought, how just really beautiful to have a heart like that. But I'm going to put that to the side for the moment. And um, I'm going to try another piece. This is a blue and yellow um, flowers. This is a really big piece. And I think this is also... Um, this was either on sale or it was a remnant. I think it was on sale. Um, but we're going to use a really small piece of it to make another really small heart. This might be too big, actually. Um, this might be too big. I, re I want a really small heart with this. So I'm going to cut this again. And the... And the this is how you make a heart, and most of you probably know this already, but if you don't. So, now there's blue here, and then yellow. I am going to focus on that yellow, because I really... And if you look at that, it almost looks like a heart. If I, if I put my finger right there, it almost looks like a heart as it is. So anyway, I am going to cut that tiny little heart out. Oh, and I love that, see? Okay, now let's see how it looks on our piece. I like that. Okay, so that's different. It's different. Now, I'm going to put the flap up and just kind of test it. See, here it blends in because you've got indigo and then you have navy blue there. So that blends, but it looks pretty there. So now the green might go a little bit better over here inside of the flap. And then of course I'm going to have a lining and maybe that lining has a heart. But let's see how this looks here. This is actually very pretty. Now, it's different, that's for sure. And that's the beauty of creating Boro, because Boro originates in being created with remnants, with leftover fabrics. So that's what I try to do. I try to, to focus on finding remnants. And, and I've in, I had not included this, but this past year and a half, I've included searching and scouting out remnants at stores because who knows what happens to those. Uh, these particular remnants I got today ended up at the thrift shop. So um, anyway, I wanted to share that with you and inspire you and just kind of let you know, uh, you know, uh, there's so many different ways to create Boro. And when I'm done with this piece, I will show you uh, this, what it looks like. So you have a beautiful day.